Hi lovelies, welcome to Anne's Delicious Kitchen, where homemade dishes are made simple. Sweet tooth lovers, let's gather over here. Join me in the kitchen and let's make white chocolate. For this white chocolate, I will use 5 tablespoons of milk powder, 3 tablespoons of coconut oil, half a cup of cocoa butter, 2 tablespoons of icing sugar, and vanilla extract. In my pot, I will pour a bit of water, then I will create a double broiler by placing my plastic bowl on top of the pot. While the water is simmering, go in with your coconut oil. I am using 3 tablespoons of coconut oil. This will give the chocolate an extra creamy melt in your mouth. As you can see, the coconut oil has melted. Let's go in with half a cup of the cocoa butter. If yours are in chunks, cut them smaller. This way, it melts quicker. I just went in with a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract. At this point, everything is nicely melted. I will stir in two tablespoons of icing sugar. If you think there might be lumps in the sugar, all you need to do is to sift it and mix till it's well combined. Here I have 5 tablespoons of milk powder. Look closely or zoom in. You can see the mix has grainy texture. Because of this, I will mix it in my blender till I have a smooth consistency. It's smoothly blended and so I will pour it over my chocolate molds. If you want to add any toppings, you can sprinkle it directly into your chocolate molds before pouring your mix. Once that's done, place it in the freezer for about an hour. After an hour, your chocolate should be ready. I have removed the chocolate from the freezer and will go ahead and remove it from the molds. The chocolate is ready to be consumed. Store the remaining of the chocolate in a cool, dry place or in the fridge. I hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment. Thanks for watching and stay blessed.